Hello, I'm Exxon 34, day 13, clear sky in Alcatraz. Uh, wind was very low coming from the east early in the day. Took a long time to come from the west, so a little delay, 35 minutes for this race 16. Uh, around expected 11, 12, maybe 14 knots, no more. 1.2 uh, fluid current coming in, so we'll have this eye. Uh, a cone with a low, with less current uh, down by Alcatraz in the bottom of the course and less current as well, top left on the course. Uh, both boats have been re-measured, both Sprit is back on the American boat and a smell of Jellica today and a port entry for the Kui boat and maybe an advantage for those guys. Let's have a look at the race. Uh, Kiwi board controlling the pre-start with the 10 second uh, hill entry in the box. They choose to bear right to be on the left, to be at the mark, because it's so easy to get locked today because of a very short starting line. So not easy for speed on USA here on the right on your screen. The problem is the distance with the other boat. Very good control of the distance between the two boats from the win one boat USA. Then went to bear away now and they bear away now together. Oracle two knots faster on the line, and then what? And not having the Ginaka for sure have the American boat to fall first, and by foiling first without Ginaka, they managed to be five knots faster and arrive five, break the overlap and be five seconds ahead at the reaching mark. And for the first time, USA is jibing first. They are going part together, uh, Kiwis and the Ginaka. Uh, reason why uh, Oracle is hosting the Ginaka then. Uh, Team New Zealand jibing first, Oracle going to the boundaries, then they go with a lot of speed, both boat on the Jenaka on starboard until the very end of the course, and then split two jibes on the Jenaka from TNZ looking for the starboard lay line, and Oracle has only one more jibe to do, but not a good jibe, kilometers of kilometers of Jenaka shit to trim in. Hard job on board, but it's a good eye grinding. It's a mechanical one. You feel what you do. Boat is going faster and faster. Are they going to be able to cross ahead? Watch out, TNZ back on starboard. Yes, crossing ahead 100 meters. Oracle left mark going under Alcatraz with less of current and back starboard at the first arc. Split from TNZ. A starboard mark and they have to come back with the tide. A lot can still happen in this race. Very classical match race, uh, up in leg. Oracle back on starboard from the right of the course on the bottom, controlling well 120 meters ahead. Then around Alcatraz, crossing the whole course going to the left boundary, because in the top left, less current. A uh, couple of tacks controlling well uh, TNZ on the left of the course, and then a long, long, long port looking for the left lay lines, port lay line to have the right mark at the top, which they do perfectly, Clo crossing ahead 20 seconds, bearing away, going uh, with a less current for the last downwind leg. And then very good control from Oracle uh, Jibin after 1 minute 30 to go on the left of the course to be sure to be ahead and control our Team New Zealand. Uh, three jibes. Today very good control from Oracle. Uh, faster and faster every race. And even uh, better on the maneuvers. Look here, the last jibe from uh, Oracle just before the last mark. 12, 14 knots. Very good control. It's like a choreography. What a progress, what a huge step ahead seed, one month and a half. Those guys are winning the race. A very good control today from Oracle, and no mistake from both sides with very similar boat speed. Conclusion, it seems easier to be two men calling the wing shift at the back of the boat. Uh, Tom Slingby and Ben Exley are working perfectly those days with uh, Jamie Spittle and at 20 knots expecting the next race, so a lot of a, the job to be done at night with the shore teams. However, nothing's changed, they still have to win the next one. Have a good day and a good luck. <laughs>